Imagine having the power of a full operating system right in your web browser, no installations, no hardware limitations, just pure, seamless access to everything you need. From managing files and editing images to collaborating in real time, a web operating system brings all of this to your fingertips. But what exactly is a web OS, and how does it change the way we interact with technology? In this video, we'll dive into the world of web operating systems. By the way, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel for more AI updates. Number 5 is OSJS. OS.js offers a unique and convenient approach to desktop computing through a web browser, providing a familiar user experience with the flexibility of cloud-based access. While it has some limitations in terms of performance and application support, its open source nature and modular design make it a valuable tool for certain use cases. If you need a lightweight, accessible desktop environment for web applications, OS.js is worth exploring. Being browser-based, OS.js can be accessed from any device with a web browser, making it highly flexible and easy to use across different platforms. Use Cases Educational tools, ideal for educational settings where students need a standardized environment without the need for complex installations. Development environments, useful for developers looking to test web applications in a simulated desktop environment. Demos and prototypes, great for showcasing applications or creating demo environments that are accessible via the web. Number 4 is GreyOS. GreyOS offers a minimalist and web-centric approach to computing, focusing on simplicity and ease of access. While it provides a clean interface and low resource usage, its reliance on internet connectivity and limited support for traditional applications might not make it suitable for all users. If you value a straightforward, browser-based environment and can work within its constraints, GreyOS could be a useful tool. GreyOS focuses on a clean and minimalistic interface, providing a distraction-free environment that emphasizes simplicity and ease of use. Like other web-based operating systems, GreyOS operates entirely within a web browser. This approach allows users to access their environment from any device with internet connectivity. Use Cases Education, suitable for educational environments where a minimal, distraction-free workspace is beneficial. Testing and prototyping, useful for testing web applications and prototypes in a controlled, web-based environment. Basic computing needs, ideal for users with basic computing needs who primarily use web applications and services. Number 3 is Ripen OS. RGOS is an open-sourced, web-based OS family concept built with just vanilla HTML CSSJS. RGOS follows a very modern, sleek, and orange-themed GUI. Remember, this project and its members are not fully functional operating systems, but a concept trying to fulfill the experience of a desktop. Its contemporary design and efficient operation make it a compelling choice for users seeking a fresh alternative in the operating system landscape. If you value a visually appealing interface and smooth performance, Ripen OS is worth considering. Use Cases General use, suitable for users looking for a modern and efficient operating system for everyday computing tasks. Customization enthusiasts, ideal for those who enjoy personalizing their desktop environment and exploring new features. Performance seekers, good for users who need an operating system optimized for performance on a range of hardware. Number 2 is Pewter. Pewter is an advanced, open-source internet operating system designed to be feature-rich, exceptionally fast, and highly extensible. Designed with a focus on privacy, Pewter can securely store all your files, apps, and games. This ensures your data is protected and accessible only to you. Files and applications can be accessed from anywhere at any time, offering convenience and flexibility. An alternative to Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, etc. with a fresh interface and powerful features. A remote desktop environment for servers and workstations. A friendly, open-source project and community to learn about web development, cloud computing, distributed systems, and much more. Use Cases Privacy-conscious users, ideal for individuals or organizations seeking a secure, private cloud solution for managing files and applications. Web developers, useful for developers who need a platform to build, test, and deploy web applications and websites. Remote work, a good choice for remote desktop access and management of servers and workstations. 
educational and community engagement, great for learning and contributing to open source projects related to web development and cloud computing. Number one is Onworks. Onworks is a cloud-based platform that provides free access to a variety of Linux and other operating systems via a web browser. It allows users to run virtual machines, VMs, on demand, offering a versatile environment for various tasks. Here's an overview and review of Onworks. Onworks allows users to run full operating systems such as Ubuntu, CentOS, Fedora, and more directly within a web browser. This means no installation is necessary and users can access these VMs from any device with an internet connection. Onworks supports a wide range of Linux distributions as well as some other operating systems like Windows clones and FreeBSD. Use Cases Learning and education, ideal for students and educators who want to experiment with different operating systems or need a platform for learning Linux or other OSes. Development and testing, useful for developers who need to test applications across different environments or work on remote machines. Occasional use, great for users who occasionally need access to a specific OS without wanting to install it on their local machine. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tech content. Got any questions or feedback? Drop them in the comments below, we'd love to chat. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.